Good afternoon, YouTube. There's nothing like 1980s Japanese engineering. So, if your old Honda ATV starter finally croaks, don't replace it with a Chinese EM knockoff, rebuild it. First, crack open the motor. Pull the nose cap off and take note of how the shims go on. Then pull off the tail cap and behold the majesty. Yuck. Looks like your mom's cooking. Whoop, found another washer on the nose. For those of you keeping score, it goes washer, washer, retainer, washer. The brush holder won't come out because it's wired to the battery post, so remove that 10 millimeter nut. And all the washers and insulating Bakelite shims. You can reuse those if you want. Next, pull out the armature. It's magnetic, so give her a yank there, Deborah. <clears throat> Those com bars have had some hot suppers. And look at the epoxy on the windings, or what's left of it. I can get this starter working, but you're only ever new once. Somebody's already been in here, playing fast and loose with the electrical tape. <clears throat> with the armature out of the way, you can push that battery post out and finagle it out of the housing. The kit comes with everything you need to rebuild the starter, except the post itself. So push that out, but don't chuck it. The best way to clean up com bars is with one of these commutator bar cleaner stones. Don't use emery paper or sandpaper because that leaves conductive dust behind. These stones are super cheap and great to have in the toolbox. This is my redneck lathe. I just put the tail end of the motor into the chuck and tighten it. Just apply steady, even pressure. And you can see it cleaning up already. There's still some defects in the copper, but this is as good as it's gonna get. Here's the kit I ordered, part number in the description. It comes with a new brush holder and the battery post assembly, a new needle bearing, which you can toss because it's the only thing in the kit that doesn't fit great, and a little baggie full of all the seals, gaskets, and miscellaneous hardware your heart could desire. I have to advise against replacing the tail bushing. It's not likely gonna be worth your hassle. Unfortunately, mine is significantly worse than the new one, so I don't think I can resist the temptation. If you don't see any shims in the tail cap, it's because they're on the armature still. Just don't lose those. In fact, I think I'm just gonna put them back on the armature for safekeeping. Best way to remove these bushings is with a screw extractor, but I hate those, so I don't have any. I do have a 14 millimeter drill bit though. If you do do it this way, make sure you're 100% centered and don't drill too deep. This isn't easy and I wouldn't advise it. In fact, avoid replacing the bushing at all if you can help it. Then you can just press the new one in using a socket and a vise. Much better. I'm going to show you how to replace the needle bearing in the nose cap. The kit comes with a new seal too. Now I know this isn't going to fit, so I'm just doing it for demonstrative purposes. This Pittsburgh 10 millimeter deep socket fits right through the hole in the nose cap, but not through the bearing, so it's the perfect tool to press it out. Well, I don't know where the old bearing and seal went to, but they ain't here no more. The new bearing presses in right by hand, as does the new shaft seal. 
Just lube it up first. And what the hell, it came with a new o-ring where it inserts into the crankcase and I'm in a good mood. Time for the meat and potatoes of this video. Let's get the new brush assembly in. Take your new plastic post centering piece and your old post and sandwich the spring like so. Squeeze the sides and insert it into the motor housing like so. Take that itty bitty teensy weensy o-ring that came with the kit and slip it over the post. The order I put these in is little shim, another little shim, the big shim, a metal washer, and then the nut. Next would be the battery cable, and then another nut. Take the brush holder and insert the two attached brushes from the inside, like that. Next, take the two brushes attached to the battery post and slip the wires into these notches. Then insert those two brushes the same way. The brush holder assembly and the motor housing are keyed, so make sure you line up the tabs. Now it's time to reinstall the armature that I'm pretending looks great for the purposes of this video. Don't forget those shims. These permanent magnets are pretty strong, so be careful it doesn't jump out of your hands. I've been married a while, so my grip strength is on point. Gently move the brushes out of the way to make room for the commutator. You don't want to chip them or crack them or smash them. Now to install the four springs that keep the four brushes in constant contact with the commutator. They hook onto these little posts like this. And then you gotta coerce them into a slot on each brush holder. Just like that. Ah, crap, I made a mistake. I put the brush in from the back. Now I get the pleasure of taking all the springs off, pulling the armature out, and starting all over. Always on the last one. That's how it looks if you pay attention and do it right. Nothing left to do but close her up. New seals for the end caps. Don't forget your shims. Why did I bother with that needle bearing? The seal fits great, but the ID of the bearing is too small for this starter. I'm pretty sure this kit came with a second bearing. Maybe that one is the right size. I spent some time on my knees and I found the original. I know it'll fit and they don't really wear out anyway. Rotate the tail cap so that these two slug eyes are closer to the post. Otherwise, the post will be on the underside of the starter and you won't be able to access it and it'll be shorted against the crankcase and you're gonna have a bad time. Crank that hog over a couple times by hand just to make sure it spins freely and doesn't make any noises worse than you would expect from an 87 year old starter. Safety goggles in place, jump rope installed, flammables relocated, Three, two, one. Congratulations, we did it. Ride safe out there. Thanks for watching.